Hey, it's Joel, 3D Printing Nerd. We're at Printed Solid, and they've gotten massive. Here at Printed Solid, the scale is huge. This has been a massive undertaking that's been in process for four years. Because of this expansion and this massive space, there's cool things that I get to show you. Let's go see them. Right here in this room are the beginnings of where the Core 1 3D printer is being assembled here in the United States. Printed Solid puts them together piece by piece in this room. Parts are put together into assemblies, and those assemblies are quality checked and then put together into the fully assembled Core 1 3D printer. When assembling the Crucian Core 1, uh, there's a few assemblies that you have to put together. Uh, there's the base assembly, and that's gonna have the motor mounts, as well as the rear, front left, and front right motors. You're gonna put them in place for this assembly. For the back assembly, there's the PSU, the XBuddy board, and XBuddy extension board. They're all installed as well as wired. The heat bed assembly is the heat bed carriage, the thing that holds the heat bed. There's the LED strip, the bed mounts, the cables, and the heat bed itself. For the Crucia Core XY assembly, that's the motion system of the machine. It has 81 steps according to the documentation, so this one probably takes the most amount of time and the most amount of gummy bears. The Nextruder assembly is responsible for everything used to feed and melt the filament. Now, don't forget, there's a ton of screws and attachment points for things that go in there. And then at the very end, you can complete the frame, plug in the display, and you've got yourself a Crucia Core 1 3D printer. That printer is then put into a box and sent out for someone to love for a long time. The eventual goal, obviously, is to procure more of those parts here in the United States. And that means this sticker is going to become a collector's item. Now we're in the room where the Mark IV-S 3D printer is assembled, and Printed Solid's been doing that for the past year. And the difference between this and the Core 1 is small but important, whereas the Core 1 is sub-assemblies that are put together into a fully assembled 3D printer. Here for the Mark IV-S, a single person is taking all of the parts and putting them together into a assembled Mark IV-S 3D printer. And so in doing that, that person gets all of the gummy bears, which is really advantageous for them. Printed Solid has a print farm. Yeah, I mean, from personal experience, I know having a print farm is incredibly useful. So the farm at Printed Solid makes the printed parts for the printers that they assemble on site. The farm also makes custom tools for the workers, bespoke and organizational tools, and tools that allow them to assemble the 3D printers easier and faster and with more precision. Just having a print farm on site gives them so much extra power. Everybody needs a print farm. And don't forget, here at Printed Solid, they're also making the filament. You can see the raw materials behind me. Those pellets are first cleaned and then dried, and then using these tubes right here, sent over to these machines to be extruded. So the raw material comes in right here and down to this device, and these containers on either side contain something called the master batch for the color. And the way this works is colorant is added at a certain percentage, and you can tell raw material and color combine right here before it goes into this heater. And this heats at different temperatures in order to get the filament at the proper squishiness in order to extrude out of this. And this is hot. Be very, very careful. Don't go near that. The filament is brought out into these water baths. And there's multiple water baths because you have to cool it at different rates, and so there are different temperatures. This then measures the filament's ovality and the size to make sure it's within spec. The filament comes up here to the accumulator, and as you notice, this can grow and shrink. The accumulator acts as a buffer for the person spooling the filament. As filament is removed, the line doesn't stop, and so the accumulator grows to take up the slack. And all of this filament winds up right here on this spool. And once this spool is full, it's pulled and it's ready for packaging. 
And that's how Jesse PLA and PETG are made here at Printed Solid. But also, Prusament PLA and PETG are made right here in the USA at Printed Solid. And that machine behind me is the same kind they use over in the Czech Republic, so you know what you're getting inside this box. And this box is gonna have PLA or PETG as well, but there's a lot of other materials out there. What other materials would you like to see Printed Solid extrude here? It's been years in the making for Printed Solid to be at this level, and it was really cool to see that dream starting to be realized. And I think assembling Prusa 3D printers here in the United States is just the first step. If they can start to source the materials locally, then it's not just assembled in the United States, but we start seeing Prusa 3D printers manufactured in the United States means more jobs for people in this future industry to build the machines that will power the next industrial revolution. Printed Solid also has a print farm printing all sorts of really cool stuff. They've got research and development headed by two incredible people and they have tech support for all Prusas in the United States. And speaking of the United States, these core ones are the first ones assembled here and they're going to a print farm. I got to take them myself. So listen, thanks for watching. If you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. And as always, high five. Once this spool of... <laughs>